All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into this video after I go ahead and shamelessly plug my Patreon and Instagram. Instagram, I upload just random fucking bullshit. I live in the woods, so, you know, there's bugs and shit like that. Uh, Patreon, I tell stories with uh, sound effects. Very cool and fun sound effects. Uh, we're rather proud of. The links to both are in the description below. Also, uh, for my Instagram. I do commission, so if you'd like a commission to hire me for any kind of voice work or whatever you can think of, and I mean just about whatever you can think of, uh, spicy included, uh, you can DM me directly on Instagram and request a commission. Now, let us get into this. Am I the asshole for celebrating Mother's Day with my mom and not staying home with my wife? Uh, well, let's find out. There is some background to this, I should hope so. My wife and mother do not get along well. It is due to their personalities. This is a pretty common thing, a very, very typical thing. My wife is very gentle-hearted, while my mother is more get-shit-done. Okay, that can mean a few different ways. There have been multiple times that my wife ended up in tears for some really small things. Hmm, do we have a crier on our hands? Sometimes it, is, uh, it has been things that the other daughter-in-laws have been confused on. It doesn't help that other women in the family have taken steps back due to this. One example is that my wife started crying after a story from when mom worked in the hospital. It really wasn't a sad story, but she started crying in the middle. I was here for this one, and it made me realize what the other women in the family were saying. My sister, for example, explained that she doesn't want to walk on eggshells while, oh, with my wife, or she may end up crying. Because, if she says the wrong thing, his wife may end up crying. Uh, my mom has taken a step back since she is tired of being the bad guy and causing her to cry when she didn't do anything. She is in therapy for this, and it has helped a lot, which is fantastic. She has better control over her emotions and got a diagnosis. Wonderful. The main problem, however, we don't have kids. I'm sorry, what? It... Mother's Day was yesterday, so I went over to give her a gift and have dinner. His mom, he didn't see that. I invited my wife, but she declined. Okay. Okay. That's an important part. I got home and she was pissed for leaving her alone uh, on Mother's Day. My point is that she isn't a parent. And her point was I need to be more consider- Of fucking what? Of what, you chalkboard? I can't ask people. I know, since they are biased, so I came here. No, you're not the asshole. She's- okay, Look, I mean, it's good that she got a diagnosis and everything. Uh, it would be nice if he put what type of mental illness she has. But, you know, I understand. Some people don't. It's a very private thing. Uh, intimate thing. But no, what the fuck is she on about? Be considerate about what? I mean, it, is it that she does not have a mom? Is, is she being considerate of her feelings that her mom and... Or his mom and his wife don't get together? Like, what kind of consideration is she fucking talking about here? I'm sure she didn't explain that either before she started bursting into tears. Now, look, I made a few of these already, right? And I'm sitting back here. <sighs> I get nice and comfy. Y'all already know that I can't stand people that just scream all the time, right? And I'm not talking about arguing, but in emergency situations, that shit just, oh, instant rage, right? Because you're making the situation worse just by screaming while the rest of us are trying to prevent the disaster from getting worse or potentially save lives. It's a very niche situation that doesn't happen very often to most people. But, yeah, I hate that. She's crying over literally anything and everything. You know, I thought she just was one of those people who were raised in a way to be offended and upset by everything. And I'm sure that there is a word for it, and I don't know what it is, but you know the types. You know, they get upset, or they cry at everything, or, you know, they always feel jealous about you having your own life. Just extremely emotional people for no reason, without... without mental illness. Lacking the reason, right? You know, I was afraid that she was one of them motherfuckers. 
but she's not. Thank fuck. Thank goodness. You're not even a mom. Like, I can understand having the conflict of, like, you know, not, like, not staying with your wife because she's the mother of your children and she is a mother, but also she's not your mom. So you would want to spend Mother's Day with your mom. And, you know, I, I can see the conflict there, but they don't have children. And he even invited her, despite the fact that his mom, and apparently a decent chunk of his family, uh, don't really much care for his wife. Uh, and he still invited her. So, he did the uh, 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 nice thing, I guess, the kind thing. He offered her an invitation, to which she declined. I mean, she could have gone to see her mother. I mean, is, is her mother not there? Is she not around? Did she pass away? You know, like, what, why? Like, what the fuck? There's nothing for him to be considerate about. And to be honest, even if her mom did pass away, I mean, all in all, he still has his mom. So he shouldn't lose time with his mother because she doesn't have one. And it may seem cruel to say, but at the end of the day, you only get so much time with your parents. And she could have come along. He is coming back home, and it is only one day. So he could spend half the day with her, half the day with his mom, or a couple of hours with his mom, and then most of the day with her. Or whatever, there's ways to work this out. You shouldn't try to make somebody else change their life, because you want it to be more convenient for you. That's... <laughs> That's not how shit works. Not at all. I mean, it happens a lot of the time. And that's what causes messy breakups. When it does happen, uh, you shouldn't stop your partner from going to see their parents. You know, I mean, unless they're like actually abusive, neglectful, hateful, just like, just problem parents. I mean, obviously. Yeah, I mean, as long as a parent doesn't treat everybody like shit or... You in particular, or, you know, the son or the, the daughter, or whatever, in particular, like shit, if they're just a good parent and the personalities just don't mesh, well, I mean, why are you going to try to stop your husband from seeing his own mom? Like, he didn't give ages here. So, you know, who knows how much longer he has with his mom? Who knows how much longer she's going to be around. We don't know if she has a terminal illness, a chronic illness. She, we don't know if she's got heart disease, diabetes, uh, fucking, you know. We don't know if she's healthy or not. So no. A long-winded way to say he is not the asshole. And, uh, yikes. Surprise, surprise, we have a double feature because that was actually rather short. Ah, uh, so here's the other one straight away. Am I the asshole for walking out of my mom's house on Mother's Day even after she lost my sister not too long ago? There is not very much punctuation here. There should be. Uh, mm, uh, because she was so disrespectful to my wife. Uh, my sister died six months ago, so yesterday was my mom's first Mother's Day after the loss of one of her kids. I am the kid who made her a mom at that. Uh, he's 24, uh, and he wanted to make it special for mom, and my wife was more than happy to help me. Even though Mother's Day is rough for her because she was not given a good or even a tries her best mother. Father's Day is similar, but she never knew her father, and never had a good father figure either. My mom, or my wife, still wanted to help make mom's uh, first Mother's Day without my sister special. We went around getting all my mom's favorite things. Favorite flowers, ice cream, chocolate, a reservation for her favorite restaurant, a scarf in her favorite color because scarves are her favorite thing ever, we also compiled a little video of my sister. My mom talked about Mother's Day being more difficult without her, and she wanted to watch some home movies of her, so we did something special with that. My wife also helped me recreate a dance I did for my mom on Mother's Day when I was a kid, because she talked about that a lot. Basically, it just... What? Oh, basically, it was just meant to show how much we love her, and help her through this not-so-easy Mother's Day. My wife played a very big role. 
She even suggested bringing breakfast to her and serving her breakfast in bed. Yesterday morning came, we made her favorite breakfast and bought, uh, brought it to mom at her and dad's. After she came out of her room is when things went to shit. Here we go, boy oh boy. Mom saw my wife and asked what she was doing there and didn't look like she wanted my wife there at all. It surprised me because my wife was with us last year too. Mom was grumbling and hostile to my wife. I told Mom that we'd plan some special things for her. This didn't change anything, and she told me that she didn't want my wife there. Then she told my wife that she had no right to intrude. What? And why would she want her there? My wife said she was sorry. She hadn't wanted to upset her. I told Mom that she was being rude and it wasn't right to take her sadness out on my wife, which you are correct, sir. Mom said she just wanted us to spend Mother's Day as a family, and I told her my wife is family, which is true. <clears throat> now people do go through grief a lot differently, but that doesn't mean you can just leg into anybody and that it's okay, because it's not, you know. Like, <laughs> everybody, everybody is hurting. You're not the only one who's experienced pain, so don't fucking act like it. You know, don't, don't be using somebody else's fucking punching bag. Especially if you're a mother. And you're, you've been an adult for a long time. I'm supposed to be setting an example, asshole. My mother grumbled and dad asked me to like, what do you mean like, oh my gosh, dude. Not going on a tangent. Not going on a tangent. <sighs> Couples who do not correct themselves, or not themselves, but their partner, gently, if there's nowhere to be, you know, correcting in private, gently, in public, take them somewhere else where you can tell them, hey, you're fucking up, or, you know, you're, you're flying off the handle here, like, let's tone it back some. <sighs> like, I understand the situation, but I have seen this so fucking much, where instead of trying to help your partner, you allow them to continue to fucking burn bridges and ruin shit. You're just enabling. That's, that's all it is. And that's all I'm going to say about this. Otherwise, it will go into an unnecessary tangent. Let's see if I can find my place. There we are. Uh, Mom said she just wanted us to spend Mother's Day as a family. And I told her wife, you know, my wife is a family. Uh, my mother grumbled and dad asked me to lay off. My wife said it was fine. But then... Mom started on my wife a few minutes later, and after she'd opened most of her gifts, because, <laughs> of course, it was after she opened most of her, most of her gifts, uh, and she said she was tired of her being here, and her own mother hadn't even wanted her. Oh my gosh, so why did she think she was welcome? Hmm. I've, I've tried my best to help so many people. And I know, I have, I have seen firsthand what kind of damage, what kind of heinous, and in some cases, particularly dark spiral, just saying some fucking bullshit like that can send somebody into. Golly, dude. I cannot say that. Honestly, if you know, if I was the dad, I would have been like, "Nope, mm -mm, we're done. No, you're going. You're you're going into your fucking bedroom. You're going into your bedroom. I'm sorry, son. I I don't know what the hell has gotten into her. I um, you know what? Uh, go ahead and get your money back. Here here are these gifts. You know, just I'm terribly sorry for that. I'm so very sorry. And I, I would I would send them on their way. I would allow them to go and for my son to have to fucking, you know, consult his wife. Because that shit, that shit, especially if she's not been a fucking asshole at all before and coming out of nowhere is even worse. Right, because if she was just a piece of shit all the time, she would expect it. And it would just, you know, it would just fall off of her. But it's like, it's like some of you know. It's like if you have a, you know, a favorite aunt or uncle, and then they just said some sideways fuck shit to you. That shit cuts so fucking deep. That is 
inexcusable behavior. I don't know if I would have fucking uh, yelled at her or not, but the one thing that I would have said, you know, if I was the dad in that situation, and that was said to my fucking son's wife by my wife, I, I would just say a couple of sentences like, how fucking could you? How fucking could you? <sighs> we lost a daughter. He lost a sister. And you thought that it would be a good idea to cause more pain to somebody else's daughter. That is fucking disgusting. Do better. I, I wouldn't marry somebody that would ever fucking think of doing shit like that, ever. But I mean, if I was, I guess the next logical step would be to come back in a bit after I've calmed down, because that is absolutely unacceptable. A thousand percent. And, uh, I guess, you know, try to help her work through it, but like I said, the people that I keep around, they are so fucking far and beyond uh, away from anybody like that. They are so fucking far and away beyond anybody like that. They would never even think to do some shit like that. They'd rather throw themselves off of their own fucking roof before they would say something so detrimental to me. And if they did by accident, they... <laughs> I mean, they, they feel bad. Even though it was an accident. And me knowing it's an accident, like, you know, it's, it's just not her. You know, if, and, and, and not even anything like that, but just something that's just like, oh, that kind of... Oh, that joke went a little too far. They feel as bad as I would. Like, the people that I keep around are some genuine and fuck, they were hard to find amazing people. I... Mmm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Absolutely not. Oh. Uh, that was too much for me. I told mom I should have left earlier, but I wanted to be understanding and supportive, but she crossed a line and I was done. Uh, that she could celebrate Mother's Day without us. My wife and I left. She felt bad and I told her not to. Damn. Your wife felt bad? Golly. That poor thing. Oh, that poor girl. And I apologize for not leaving sooner. She told me I didn't need to leave, and I... Nah, honey, you... you know, nah, you, you too... You too nice. You too nice. You're, <laughs> you're too good for the rest of us out here. No, she didn't... She didn't do nothing wrong. She didn't do nothing wrong. Mom and Dad both texted me countless times yesterday saying that I should go back, and... How could I have abandoned my mom after she lost? That is, oh my gosh, that is stereotypical fucking guilt trip, bullshit, lazy parent, fuck shit. Oh, damn it. Oh my gosh, you know? Mm. <laughs> no, absolutely not. They can get fucked. Get fucked, cunts. Absolutely. How could you abandon your mom? I'd be like, well, how could you fucking make my wife feel like dog shit after we tried our very best that we didn't have to do after we did hours of fucking work after we put in all of this time and money just to make her feel better how could she do that to us her only son and her only daughter-in-law who has been nothing but amazing how could she do that and every time it's reversed i know motherfuckers like this fucking in and, oh my gosh, dude. And you know what their response would be? That sounds like disrespect. That's what it would be. That's what it would fucking be. Why are you so disrespectful? You know, can't you see your mom? You know, obviously. Can't you see that it's fucking childish to just fucking let your emotions fly everywhere and hit whoever it can? Dumbass. Oh, what a fucking... What a piece of work. Golly. <sighs> And he had to, I, like, I, I know for a fucking fact he had to console her. The, the, the boy, the, the man, the, the, the son. He had to console his wife. And, like, the fucked up part about it is that he had to console her not only for the damage that that fucking winch did, but because she probably still felt bad about not just taking it. Because she's used to taking abuse. You know, verbally, at least, that's, that's what we, you know... That's what we got here. Well, at least that's what that's what I know from situations like that. You know, her mother's, you know, not really the, uh, the greatest or whatever. Him saying that. He was putting it nicely. Her mom was a piece of shit to her. 
And that reaction fucking shows that. It probably hurt in a familiar way. Which is the most, like, the more devastating part. God. Damn, I hate that. Fuck, I hate people like that. Oh, I really do. Not the asshole. Not the asshole at all. Oh my gosh. Not even in the slightest bit. They owe him an apology. His mom needs to be on her hands and knees giving a full Japanese fucking apology with gifts to his wife. That is absolutely unacceptable in every way. Just because you're hurting, it does not mean that you get to fucking put your hurt on other people. It is not. Life isn't easy. All of us are in pain. In one way or another. <sighs> Puta madre. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> People are like this. People are like this. <sighs> Puta madre. <laughs>